we have a variable air gap capacitor for manual tuning. Uh, alternating plates are connected together. One group of plates is fixed in position. The other group of, is capable of rotation. In this case, the bleem ones. Consider a capacitor of eight plates of alternating polarity, each plate having an area of 1.25 square centimeters and separated from adjacent plates by a distance of 3.4 millimeters. What's the maximum capacitance of the device? These were used in old-fashioned radio tuners um, before we've gone digital. So let's take a look at this, and I just want to redraw it from the side just so you can sort of visualize it. In reality, we have something that looks like this, uh, where there are eight plates connected together like this. So we get a capacitor that forms between these two plates, a capacitor that forms between these two plates, 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 and these two plates. For a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven capacitors, basically all in parallel with each other. Uh, so if you rotate these in as far as they go, you'll end up with just all of the green in between all the blue. And if you rotate them all the way out, you have none of the green in between the blue. But since we're looking for maximum capacitance, uh, we're going to assume that they're all the way rotated in. So we basically have a bunch of parallel plate capacitors. Remember the equation for a parallel plate capacitor is this. And since they're separated by air, uh, we're going to pretend the cap is 1, if you right looked ahead and saw what dielectric constants are. Um, and so just plugging in our numbers. Now, quick warning on this one. Uh, they gave us the area in square centimeters. Please remember we need to convert that to square meters. And please remember a square meter is 100 centimeters by 100 centimeters, or 10,000 square centimeters, which is why I've got this little 10 to the minus fourth in here to convert this into square meters. Likewise, with the distance between the plates, it's in millimeters, so we've got the 10 to the minus third here. It still ends up being a relatively tiny capacitance of only 3.25 times 10 to the minus 13 ferrets. That's for one of the pairs of plates. Now again, quick reminder, we've, this is basically a parallel plate capacitor. Total capacitance is just the sum of all the pieces. Because we have seven identical capacitors in this case, we can just take seven times the capacitance of one set of plates, which we just found up above. If we do that, you'll find the total capacitance of this thing, or its maximum capacitance, 2.28 times 10 to the minus 12 farads. Or, if you want to go into a prefix, 2.28 picofarads. I hope this helps.